Fournette. Fournette goes airborne. He's in. Touchdown, Jaguars. Tip and intercepted by Ramsey to close it out. It's over. The Jacksonville Jaguars have pulled off the upset of the playoffs. What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, here to preview the much anticipated, the best matchup on the card. No, I'm not talking about the Steelers and the Patriots this week. I'm talking about the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Washington Redskins. Now, the Redskins are coming in with Josh Johnson as their quarterback, and the Jags are coming in with Cody Kessler as theirs. This matchup is going to be as intense as it gets. So, ladies and gentlemen, let us not waste any more time. I am Treeb from Treeb Talks, and this is the Jacksonville Jaguars versus Washington Redskins, week number 15, preview. Now, first things first, I completely understand where some people are coming from as far as wanting to lose this game because they want a better draft pick. But I think regardless where we end up, we're going to be in the top 10, regardless. Uh, Whether we make the top 5, I think it's still to be uh, determined. But I think either way, we're going to be getting our quarterback. Um, Some of these teams in the top 5, top 10, don't even need a quarterback. Um, So with the possibility of them trading, uh, (coughs) trading down or trading up is very high. Teams like Arizona, that's going to be an interesting pick to see if anybody's going to trade up that high to uh, get their quarterback. But honestly, if even if people don't trade up this year in the draft and like the draft order is just how it is, all the QB hungry teams are towards the bottom of the pack. I mean, you have the Giants, who the Giants might be um, selecting a quarterback, which I think they should. Um... And the Jags are also going to be selecting a quarterback. I mean, you got teams like the Jets. The Jets, uh, they have Sam Darnold. I'm assuming they don't want another quarterback. Uh, Arizona has Josh Rosen. Oakland has Derek Carr to that extremely, extremely ridiculous deal. Um, So, I think as for the last three games, I'd like to see us win at least two out of the three. Um, And I think this Washington game is very, very, very winnable. I think that I want us to go out there and dominate. Like, we're playing a quarterback that hasn't thrown a meaningful pass his whole NFL career uh, in Josh Johnson. So if we lose to Josh Johnson in the Washington Redskins, it's either because, holy shit, we are bad and we need to set this fucking thing on fire and actually hit a hard reset, or we're really tanking uh, for a draft pick. I really don't see a world where Josh Johnson throws against his Jaguar defense, even though it has um, regressed quite a bit. But the main thing to worry about with this Washington game is running back Adrian Peterson. Adrian Peterson, who in my opinion um, should also be up for the debate of comeback player of the year with Andrew Luck. Um, Adrian Peterson has came back and had a hell of a season, especially uh, for the age that he is. Um, having that 90-yard touchdown run on Monday Night Football, that was amazing to see. Uh, Adrian Peterson, you know, growing up, AP's one of your idols, man, especially if you're around my age, 19, 20 years old, somewhere around there. Adrian Peterson was the face of the NFL for a long, long time. You know, that's one of those guys you look up at and, you know, one of those guys that you see playing, and you're like, this is a Hall of Famer playing in front of me. Um, and that should be the Jaguars' main focus because there should be no reason why um, Josh Johnson throws all over our defense. There should be absolutely no reason for that. So the main focus in this game should be stopping the run game and uh, stopping Adrian Peterson. And especially because that should be a point of emphasis after last week, what we allowed Derrick Henry to do um, to our defense. So we can't let that happen again. Adrian Peterson is going to be the main vocal point uh, that the Jags need to focus on on offense. Now, I mean on defense. Now, as far as offensively for the Jags, um, let Cody Kessler sling it a little bit. You know, um, the season's over. We're in week 15 now. Um, I'd like to see Cody Kessler try to get a shot to sling some deep balls down the field, try to test some uh, some deep balls, really try to sling that thing down there. But uh, if I know anything, we're still going to be coming in with a heavy run approach uh, with Leonard Fournette. Um, and we'll see where that takes us um, as far as that goes. So, uh, like I said, I'd like to see Cody Kessler take some shots, but I would understand if the game plan is to pound the rock with Leonard Fournette because that's the game plan almost each and every week. So, um, Cody Kessler needs to take shots this week. 
Um, he threw a lot of good balls uh, in that Tennessee game, a couple of deep shots that were just on the money that, you know, receivers dropped. Dante Moncrief comes to mind. Oh, my God, dude, that ball was perfect and just in and out of his hands. It was terrible. But um, I'd like to see his wide receivers get involved. I'd like to see... Uh, I'd like to see them instore some faith into Cody Kessler to let him uh, throw the ball downfield a bit more and uh, not just take the check down. Uh, that's in Kessler as well. He needs to uh, be able to have faith in his wide receivers downfield. Also, his offensive line needs to step up and protect Cody Kessler. And that's something that this offensive line has struggled to do all season long is protect the quarterback. So um, here's hoping for that side of things that this offensive line decides to uh Finally pull its head out of its ass. I know it's injured, but uh, hopefully the unit that's out there can protect Cody Kessler and allow him uh, to take his shots downfield. Because um, if anything, I hope this game's a little bit more exciting than recent weeks. I know this is a battle between two teams that are practically dead in the water. But sometimes, dude, sometimes when you get those two teams late in the season, so you get a banger of a game. I know the Jags have been in uh, some of those games in the past where their season looked over and done. But they ended up having a banger of a game against somebody that was in the same situation with them. Um, one game that comes to mind was the Cleveland game um, when Chad Haney was in there. Uh, I can't be- remember what year it was. I think it was 2012, 2013, something like that. But uh, Haney found Cecil Shorts in the corner of the end zone uh, to end the game and to win the game for the Jags. So that was cool. And um, I think this game has the potential to be like that. Uh, like I said, though, I don't see any way or any reason the Jags should lose this game but I've said that before and we have found ways uh, to lose those games so hopefully this time it's different and hopefully we can go out there and defeat the Washington Redskins and that was my Jacksonville Jaguars versus Washington Redskins week number 15 preview what do you guys think leave your comments down below don't forget to check the links down below as well don't forget to like me on Facebook at Troop Talks follow me on Twitter at Trevon Pixley and follow me on Instagram at Trayvon Pixley. Also, if you're feeling oh so generous, you can go ahead and donate on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Treep Talks. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you click that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody outworking me. Them's just straight back. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you have a great day.